who was next? Senator Franken? I, I, yes, thank you. You're just you. visiting, but I'll, I'll yield the floor to you. Yeah. I, I still am resenting that remark from earlier. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Olnick, uh, thank you for your years studying this. And I want to go back to this because, um, and you talked about economic development, and we talk about return on investment. Um, and we're talking about, right now, making budget decisions. Um, isn't this something we need to be investing in? And can you just, just speak to the 10 years or however sure. many years you've been doing research on this? So actually, I've been doing research for about 25 years on economic development, state and local in particular, and I've been arguing for a number of years that the way we conventionally do economic development in this country is seriously flawed. We allow cities and states to try to lure each other's uh, jobs, companies from one state to another uh, with all kinds of subsidies, and the professional sports teams are the best at doing this. They play the game very well. We've argued that it's a zero-sum game, that these all you're doing with these subsidies, and we're talking billions of dollars over the years, uh, you're moving jobs around. You're not creating one new job. Uh, nevertheless, there's a, um, it's very difficult for a state or a, a, a county or, or a city to, um, to opt out of that bidding war. Um, and so, for example, let me make it very concrete. What's going on in Minnesota? It's regularly acknowledged by the political system, by the populace, by educators, that the best investment we could have is making sure all of our at-risk kids start school healthy and ready to learn. There's no debate on that. And if you were to survey the public, you'll get over 70% agreeing that we should be funding this. And yet, at the same time, we have a $5 billion deficit on our state. They're going to find a way to fund a $1 billion stadium for the Minnesota Vikings. $1 billion. And why is that? Because the Vikings are threatening that if they don't get their stadium, they're going to go to another state. So when we allow, when Congress allows this bidding war, and we've argued it, it's zero sum, it violates the Commerce Clause, it interferes with interstate commerce, but Congress is allowing this, you're putting state and local politicians in a very tough position. And as a result, you ask our priorities. For $1 billion, we could provide an endowed fund so in Hennepin and Ramsey, and this is the Twin Cities, every poverty child could have a scholarship and a mentor starting prenatal in perpetuity, because we could set that up as an endowed fund. And yet, if I was a betting man, the Vikings will get their billion dollars, and we will not get a dime. So it isn't that the information isn't there, but we've got some problems, I think serious flaws in the way we, as a country, uh, invest uh, money to create jobs. This is the best way to create jobs. By far the best stimulus money. I'm from Detroit, my hometown. Um, I don't care how much money the government gives to General Motors. 75%, it's estimated that 75% of the children in the Detroit public school system do not graduate high school. That economy will remain a third world economy now and for the next 20, 30 years if that continues. No matter how much money you give to General Motors, You've got to educate your kids. That is the proven way for, to create sustainable economic growth. I think that's fairly well known, and yet our policies are very skewed. And Detroit, we are, Detroit has two brand new stadiums. They have three casinos. That's not going to change that economy. Not even the casinos? Not even the casinos. Okay. I, uh, I would bet on that. Uh, we're in a global competition, right? And OECD countries now are moving ahead of us in all these measures. Uh, percentage of uh, students graduating, of population graduating from college. Uh, they're ahead of us in reading. To, I mean, we're falling and falling and falling. Uh, if we are going to compete in a global economy, it just seems to me that this is where we need to invest our money. Now. A lot of you are talking about the state to state. I mean, Vikings are, that talks about the identity of the, of the state, and it's com there it's competing against Los Angeles, wherever it's competing. But a lot of this is just a uh, moving a business, uh, you know, one state competing in another by giving a tax break, right? Correct. To a business. And it, it doesn't help the United States, it helps a state. And to, to the detriment of another state. 
So that's a zero-sum game, right? Correct. By definition. I'm not an economist, but you are. And that's the zero-sum game. That's the zero-sum. But, uh, but early childhood is win-win, right? Absolutely. Okay. Well, Absolutely. I prefer win-win to zero-sum. There. Thank you, Ms. Madam Chair. <laughs>